just yes. first and foremost, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, just to start off, back up in your music in general, both have like English and Spanish influences. How does that affect your writing process? Um, I think it like, I think that's how I identify myself as an artist, to be honest, and as a person, just in general. Um, and it wasn't until I want to say the past like three to four months of making music that I decided to fully stay in the Spanglish world when it came to writing. Because <clears throat> in the beginning of my solo career, I started, I kind of gave that a shot, but I didn't feel like I was doing it correctly. And then I stuck to just full Spanish for a bit. And that was cool too. But um, yeah, recently when I started working with my new management team, we developed the full rebrand. Um, and we decided to go ahead and like really think about the sound, the sonic direction that I wanted to take as an artist. And that's where you know, the Spanglish was really introduced. Um, <clears throat> so it's cool. If, if anything, like, I've made it, I've made it super easy for myself. It doesn't really, like, affect it, affect me at all when I'm writing. It's kind of like when I'm humming melodies and coming up with things, um, whether if that comes out in Spanish, then it stays there and vice versa with English, same thing. Yeah, definitely. And um, you touched a little bit there on your rebrand. I know you've been rebranding both your look and your sound. Um, how have you managed to stay true to yourself and your music during all of that? I think I have been, I started to journal a lot. And thanks to my manager, Jamie, she put me on. I think I was doing it for a bit, not going to lie, um, during my time in, in real life. But I stopped for a long time. And I don't know why. And then Jamie reminded me to, she was like, you should keep keep journaling. Um, it's just like a good habit and, you know, writing everything, how you feel. Cause one day you're going to look back at this and just kind of be like, dang, everything that I was going through. And, you know, I, I've been, I've been journaling when I have a lot in my head and without really any prompts, um, I just kind of write, write whatever I'm thinking about, good, bad, um, and what's cool, what I've noticed is that that has turned into like my music that I'm making right now. Um, and it's really helped me kind of learn more about myself and it's helped me kind of take a step back and really think about where I want to go with my career. Um, and yeah, it's, it's helped a lot. It's really helped flush out lots of ideas, lots of thoughts in my head that I used to keep super trapped up and and yeah, those turn into songs and it's also helping me just like, I, because it's kind of like how I, it's like a, how do I say this? Uh, what's the word? What's the word? Okay. Okay. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but like it was, it, it's just, it's helped me a lot with my process of finding myself and, and just fleshing out lots of ideas. Yeah. I definitely think like journaling and writing everything down in general is super important. Um, I write all the time, obviously as a writer, but just to help me remember things that have happened, stuff like that. It's super important to me. So I think everybody can benefit from journaling. 100%. Um, so just, you talked a little bit about in real life and being in that band. What was the transition from being in a band like in real life to your solo career? Um, it's been a process. I, I didn't really expect it to, um, kind of happened the way it has happened mainly because I mean we'll start with COVID and quarantine like that was a massive that completely shifted what I had in plan for myself like that first year we I remember we split up at the top of 2020 it was January and I got right in the studio um, I had a couple cool opportunities that um, I was working towards in that spring and um, yeah so COVID hitting just kind of really affected all of that as I feel like it did for everybody whenever I talk about that point in my life with everyone like everybody seemed to have like they were doing something that was like oh this was really gonna take things to the next level in whatever career they're going in um so that was like a massive turning point um and I was living at home for the first time in three years and I feel like you know my time in the band they were really important years of just like just development as a person, you know, from, from 16 to 19, turning 20, like I left school, obviously I finished online, but we were working a lot nonstop for three years touring. 
Um, so being home really helped me kind of figure out really what I wanted to do because I had a plan, like I told you, but um, that's kind of where I started to experiment with producing, with writing in different styles. And, you know, I've lived in a couple of different cities. I've lived in LA for a bit. I lived back at home for a while. I'm currently living in Miami and I'm, I'm starting to travel some more for my, um, for sessions that are up and coming. But, um, but it's been, it's been a really cool, I don't know. I feel like life really started after in real life for me, um, just like personally. And I've been through so much, but you know, I think everything happens for a reason and I'm really happy with where, where we're at right now with the team and, and with my music. Yeah, definitely. And I know a part of all of this is thanks to um, the Pepsi Music Lab, which you've been a member of. And mm -hmm. how has that really just helped you find your sound and like start your solo career in general? I think it was exactly what I needed at the time that that opportunity came. Um, prior to that, my team and I were going through the development of the rebrand and I was starting to really get into... Um, I was getting into like the the sound that I've I've been developing. It started I remember with like let's create a playlist of like my ideal album of what I would want one day, and so it started with that. But I noticed that I kept, you know, taking away songs and adding new ones to that playlist. And but that was because you know it wasn't just with the first playlist. I knew exactly where I wanted to go. It's like I had to listen to these songs and really let them sit in and think about everything. For the sonics, the production, the melodies, the lyrics, um, all of that, the feeling that I would get from listening to these songs. And when Pepsi came, the, the Pepsi opportunity came, it was just like, it was in the middle of, of, of all of that. And it was the first time that I was that I was coming back to social media after taking a little break. So I think it was cool to show everybody what we have been working on and 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 show my following and, and the fan base that I do have right now, the the people that are that we're partnering with um, for this next year. So it, it and and going to that boot camp that we did with Pepsi and United Masters in Brooklyn was so cool because I got a taste of what life will be like once again, once you know I'm back back constantly on promo and touring and stuff. And and it was it was really good to do something like that, but in the headspace that I'm in now with just my life in general, but my musical career. Yeah, definitely. And I think, um, like you said, getting back into that environment where showing you what life could be like is so important right now and a huge part for a lot of artists to yeah. feel like a sense of normalcy and to perform, which is things. Yeah, and it gave, me, it gave me the extra kick of motivation that I needed. I was like, damn, all right, I got I to gotta go crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> got to get back out there. Yeah. Um, and similarly, would you say the boot camp was the most fun part about working with Pepsi Music Lab so far? Or was there a different, what's your favorite memory? Um, yeah, definitely. I think the boot camp was, has been one of the most fun, like the one of the best opportunities they've given us so far. Because through that, we also, I got to meet the other artists that are part of the, the class of 2023. Mm -hmm. I've collaborated with one of them already. Uh, we all stay in great touch and it's cool to follow everybody's journey as well. Um, and everybody's super supportive, which is awesome. And I try, I'm, I'm rooting for all of the, all the homies part of the class of 2023 as well. Um, but yeah, it was, I think that's been the most fun. Uh, we also, uh, Pepsi was a part of the radio campaign that we did for my newest release backup. So that was really, really cool to hear, um, my voice back on the radio and the music playing and stuff. Cause you know, I, it's been since in real life, it's been a while. And so hearing that now, but just me was a really good, like check mark checkpoint. You know, I was just like, all right, this is fire. And it was cool. Cause I talked, I called my parents through FaceTime and we listened to, to the, the, the promo ad that they were playing on the station. And it was cool to see my parents' reaction. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine how, gratifying it must be to finally hear your first single back and everything yeah it's, it's a great song it's super Thanks. exciting for you and um i'm sure everybody is loving it already so um how are you using this new single to connect more with your fans i think 
What's really cool is that the Spanglish that I am now fully, fully committing to is connecting with a lot of the fans that may have slowly disconnected from my time with in real life. Um, and so it's, it's so cool to see a lot of old names resurface in my feed and my notifications, but this single has also brought a lot of, uh, a couple new names that I haven't seen, which is awesome. I try to stay as connected as possible with my fans. And a lot of what we do is, <clears throat> you know, revolving around how can we engage them as much as we can. Everything from like, you know, I got to make sure that a caption is engaging or we like to do giveaways like the one that I'm currently doing um, or we'll do virtual meet and greets for right now. And um, yeah, I think it's, it's really cool that that with this single, we're starting to connect a lot more with the fans. And um, I mean, my fans are the best. I love them. I love them. Yeah, yeah I think um, fans are just the most important judgment factor and like the people that keep us all going and yeah. not. So yeah, it's awesome. awesome. And, and I love that, like, you know, a lot of, a lot of them have been with me since even before in real life, like when I was on the show on boy band. So they've really grown up with me and that's why I'm so excited for this new journey. Cause I finally feel like, <clears throat> you know, I'm at a point with my career where I feel like I am going in the direction that I've always myself going and I just didn't realize that it was going to take a lot of like just like life <laughs> like I've, I've had to experience so much to get here but I'm, I'm very happy and, and blessed with the way everything has turned out and, and I'm glad that they're they're growing up with me yeah and that's the one thing about fans is they are the most loyal people in the world um but so can you share with them your favorite memory of making backup um yeah I think Honestly, I think it was the day that I wrote it because in in all honesty, I think this was like one of the only songs that I wrote without the intention of releasing it, without going into the session and having something prepared. I was just genuinely going through, I mean, what I talked about in the song and it was just, it was bothering me a lot because I'm just one to hold a lot in my head and I feel like that's why I've leaned towards songwriting and it's helped me out a lot. <laughs> but um, I remember I was like, I called my my producer and my co-writer, uh, Moises and Dali. I work with them a lot in LA. And I was like, guys, I'm currently going through this is this. It's been killing me. I need to write a song about it. And they're like, all right, let's do it. We met up and we wrote the song and it was super like, we started it from scratch. I like to start all, most of my music from scratch. Um, and it was a really cool process just like, telling them the story and, and having all three of us just like really create this song. And I wrote it and that I left it at that. <clears throat> that was two years ago. That was in the summer of 2020. And I never really saw myself releasing it. I never thought about it. If anything, I completely forgot about it. So like now that it's been the first single of the rebrand and, and revisiting that and, and, um, Seeing everybody's reaction has been amazing. And and yeah, I think it was just really fun just going into the studio and just writing, you know, writing exactly what was on my mind. Cause I always go in prepared with at least something, whether it's a concept or the sounds that I want to use. And that always helps me a lot. And it's very efficient in the studio. But that was a really chill writing session and I enjoy just like making music with them, telling telling my story. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that like you write this song and you never even maybe imagined it to see the light of day. And now it's here. Like I did it. I did it. Literally, it was I, I met I was in New York with my day to day manager, Dom, and I was showing him a bunch of music that I had made over the past year and a half, two years and back up. And it was still very rough. It was in the version because that too, like we completely revisited everything from the sounds to the vocals I re-recorded, we rewrote a lot. Um, but he heard that version and he was like, yo, this is crazy. I was like, wait, for real? And yeah, that turned into what it is now. So what can fans expect from your music moving forward now that we're in a whole new era? So funny. I was thinking about that this morning in my during my workout. I honestly like I feel like everybody's going to really get to know me on a more personal level um, because 
like I mentioned before, I think I had to go through everything that I had to go through both personally and professionally the past two years to feel as good as I do right now with myself, my career, my team, where I'm at, just like with my mental health, everything. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited for fans and for anybody that listens to my music to kind of get an inside scoop of what it's like to be in here <laughs> for me, you know, and especially because in, in real life, you know, there's five of us and then there's a label involved, there's management, there's so many different people involved in the project that I feel like, you know, fans got to know me on a personal level for sure. But now that I've, I've experienced life a little bit more, I'm a little bit older, um, I, I have more to write about. And I think that's what's cool about my music is I, I always have made sure to just stick to writing about personal experiences whether they're good, they're bad, because um, I just want to share my story, hoping to inspire anybody else. So I'm excited to show people what life has been like the past two years because it's it's been here and here and here and all over the place. And yeah, I'm just pumped to share my story with everybody. Yeah, I think it's definitely like important for fans to hear music that is about personal experience because that's what they relate to the most. And just being open and vulnerable is so important and it's what everybody is appreciating right now. So um, you kind of mentioned earlier that you made a list or a playlist of songs that you would want an album to sound like. Wow. What artists are kind of inspiring you the most right now? Uh, there's a couple, definitely Justin Bieber, uh, Rao Alejandro, um, Dua Lipa for sure. Uh, CNCO, I've always been a massive fan of, of what they do. So, you know, th those artists like that, uh, who else? Yeah, I think those are like the main ones. Justin Bieber, Raul Alejandro, Omar Palo, Dua Lipa. Um, they, they, are all, they are all, what I really like is they all have their own sound and they've all really, really worked hard to get to where they're at in their careers right now. Um, so, and I love how vulnerable they all get in their music. And obviously that's, that's the direction I'm taking when it comes to my writing. So I'm, I look up a lot. I look up to them a lot. Yeah, those definitely sound like artists that kind of have similar key values as you and are fo following the same career path like you. Mm -hmm. um, so just one final question and that's what's next for you. Is there a new album soon? What are we getting? Yeah, uh, definitely lots of new music. I'm so excited. I'm going to be locked in the studio the next basically month, month and a half. Um, even on top of that, like I'm always writing. I'm always coming up with different ideas, but I'm really excited. I, this is the longest time I've spent that, or well, I'm going to be spending in the studio and knowing the direction that I'm going in sonically and with my career, I think this is going to be like, some of the best music I've made and it's, it's, I feel really, really good with it. And um, yeah, we have, we're, we're working on, on getting all these sessions locked in. I'm working with a lot of new people and I'm excited to, to hear and to see what everyone else has to bring into the project. So lots of new music and I'm definitely trying to get out and start performing again for sure this year. Um, I feel, I feel really ready. And, and that's another thing that I, I feel like is my, I think my favorite thing about all of this is just being on stage and um, enjoying the music because uh, that was definitely the most fun on, on in, in real life. So I'll definitely be working a lot towards getting out back on stage, but lots of new music and a lot of exciting things that are coming. Yeah, I can definitely tell how excited you are to get back out there and share your music and just share your love with everybody and all of your fans and i think back up is the perfect intro to your new rebrand solo career that means the world like i hope you know that <laughs> thank you so much I, i'm personally over the moon for you so this is oh. awesome and congratulations again right. um everybody back up is out now go stream give it a listen and thank you so much for streaming and being here with us today thank you thank you so much